So now we're going to do the tendon injury exercise program for the pronator teres. So first you warm up, and the person is going to pronate and supinate their hand and forearm. And they're going to do that for two or three minutes. You're just breathing, relaxing, holding the arm at a 90 degree angle, and just moving it so that it's warm before you start the stretching and strength building part of the program. So after they've done that for two or three minutes, then they're going to stretch the pronated teres by taking it into supination, grasping at the wrist, not so it hurts, but just so it feel a little bit of a pull in the upper forearm near the elbow. And they relax that, and they're going to do it again, and they hold it for 20 or 30 seconds. I'm doing it a little more quickly just for demonstration, and then they relax again, and they do it once more. And they do that a total of five separate times, 20 or 30 seconds in the stretch of supination to stretch the pronator teres. Then once they've done that, then they're going to take the one-sided weight and they hold it in a place that feels comfortable. The closer you get to the weight, the lighter it is, the further away, the heavier it is. And then they're going to pronate and supinate. And they're working, of course, both the pronator and the supinator at the same time. But the supinator is probably fine in this case, and the pronator needs work. So she's going to pronate, supinate. And she does that 10 times, 10 pronations, and then she rests for a moment, 20, 30 seconds. And then she does it again, so that she's going to do a series of three sets of 10. And after she does the second set, she rests for a minute, and then a third set of 10. And again, pronating, supinating, pronating, supinating and only doing it so she fatigues in the last set of 10. You just get a little bit tired in the last set of 10, and you know you have the right amount of weight. And she's done with that, and she'll go back to stretching the pronator by supinating the forearm and holding the wrist, leaving the arm relaxed and bent at about 90 degrees at the elbow. She does that, relaxes, does it again. She does it a series of five times, with a little momentary rest of five or ten or so seconds in between. And when she's completed doing that five times, then she's going to take the uh, ice pack or a heating pad and put it on that area and just stay there for you know four or five minutes or so. Remember that you have to be a little bit tired in the third set of ten in order to be using the right amount of weight. And if it's tiring earlier than that, got to use less weight, get closer to the weight, hold it closer, or if it's not enough weight, then either add more weights to your device or move more toward the end of the weight to make it a little bit heavier with a larger fulcrum. And that's it.